of the research. Populist communication in talk shows and social media, a comparative content analysis in four countries. Studies in communication and media, University of Zurich, 2018. Abstract. Populist political communication is the main source of populism. Populism has thin ideology and three dimensions of populist communication. People-centrist. Anti-elitism. Exclusion. Populist communication is context-dependent and use three dimensions. Political systems. Media channels. Party types. Introduction. Political communication is the central mechanism in the articulation of political interests. Research shows that populist messages have far-reaching effects such as reinforcing populist attitudes or contributing to opinion polarization. Yet, only few have examined populist communication in talk shows or social media. By mediality hybridization, these channels provide the ideal combination between outreach and control to politicians. Quantitative content analysis comparing politicians' self-presentation in talk shows and on Twitter and Facebook in Switzerland, Germany, the United Kingdom, and the United States. Defining populism. Populism, a notoriously vague term defined as an ideology, a political strategy, a style, or a discourse. Scholars agreed to conceive political populism as a thin ideology that considers society to be separated into two homogenous and antagonistic groups, the pure people, versus the corrupt elite. Populist ideology demands the empowerment of good people and sovereignty. Secondly, it juxtaposes the people to the elite in a normative and moralistic manner. Thus, populism treats the people as a homogenous category, a discrete entity, or a corporate body that is capable of having common interests, common desires, and a common will. This monolithic conception implies some specific segments of the population, the dangerous others, these outgroups are excluded from the people, and seen as a threat or a burden to society. Populist Communication Building on the theoretical considerations and existing literature on populist ideology three dimensions of populist key messages derive. People-centrism. The homogeneous pure people for whom five key messages populist deliver. Speaks in the name of the people and claims to defend their will. Accountable to the people and the importance of responding to the people's will. Uses a reference to the people to legitimize certain claims. Demands the sovereignty of the people. Describes the people as homogeneous. Anti-elitism. The distance and estrangement between the people and the elites being above ordinary citizens, out of touch with reality, and ignoring the people's will. The elites are denounced as corrupt or incompetent. Not only political but also economic, cultural, or the media elite are blamed for any failures, problems, and undesirable developments in politics and society. Exclusion. The rhetorical exclusion of specific social outgroups from the people. This refers to a differentiation along the horizontal dimension. Contextual factors and hypotheses. Political communication is highly dependent on different political systems. In presidential systems, politicians have more incentives to speak populist than in parliamentary systems. Historical, cultural, or situational factors may contribute to the extent of populist communication in a given political system. This leads to our first hypothesis. H1. Politicians' communication is more populist in the United States, followed by the United Kingdom and Switzerland, and lowest in Germany. Political actors rely on different communication channels such as electronic and social media etc. Earlier researches shows that the amount of populist communication is influenced by characteristics of the public setting and the communication channel. Thus, media can provide a platform for populist communication which can be exploiting. Talk shows are often fosters media logic and encourage the use of populist communication. A. Discussions in talk shows are highly audience-oriented which favors populist communication. B. Second, the direct confrontation fosters the conflictive dimensions of populist communication. C. Third, the competition for attention makes the way to populist communication. D. Speeches in talk shows are focused on dominance, allegations, proclamations, personalization, and to create audience closeness. Social media, on the contrary, provide politicians less dependent on news media logic and are less influenced by mediatization. 
The network logic of social media is an opportunity for populists to circumvent media institutions and journalistic gatekeepers. Social media platforms such as Twitter may be used by populists as a tool of permanent opposition against mainstream parties. Deduced from these arguments, the second hypothesis is formulated. H2. Politicians' communication is more populist in political talk shows than on social media. Finally, differences in the usage of populist communication are expected in connection with party association. Specifically, politicians of poll parties are more prone to employ populist communication than moderate or center party politicians. Similar to opposition parties, poll parties often oppose the governing and mainstream parties, denouncing them as cartel, or as being indifferent to the desires of ordinary citizens. Thus, follows the third hypothesis. H3. Politicians of poll parties use more populist key messages than politicians of moderate or center parties. Data collection and sample. Four established Western democracies. United States. Presidential system. Majoritarian election system. United Kingdom. Parliamentary system. Majoritarian election system. Germany. Parliamentary system. Proportional representation. Switzerland. Direct democratic system. Proportional representation. Politician statements are analyzed in political talk shows, Facebook posts, and tweets. To find how politicians communicate and present themselves and not on how they are represented by the media. They are used by politicians not only to discuss current topics and issues, but also for self-presentational reasons such as connecting with their voters, mobilizing supporters, and shaping their image. It is therefore interesting to compare the use of populist key messages in these different formats. To do so, two political talk shows are selected for each country and four episodes in March through May 2014 are investigated. To the exact same time frame across all four countries, to capture debates on a variety of political issues. To analyzing the daily communication in a routine period. The chosen political talk shows are normal, routine time shows that are broadcast weekly and on a regular basis. They represent the two most influential and highest market share talk shows two per country that cover political content, focus the discussion mainly on current and crucial political issues, and have a duration of about 60 minutes episodes in which at least one politician appear. Overall, 74 politicians appear in the selected talk show episodes. Official Facebook and Twitter profiles for each of the 74 appearing politicians are identified. Overall, 47 of the 74 politicians are present on one or both of these social media channels. Their tweets and Facebook status updates are obtained via FacePager and analyzed from March 1st through May 31st, 2014. A random sample of 20 political tweets and 20 political Facebook posts for each politician. For those who have less than 20 tweets or posts, the time period is extended to the whole year or, if necessary, to all of their tweets and posts. For all variables, Cohen's Kappa and Krippendorf's Alpha is above 0.60, and the agreement above 90%, overall average, 0.85, Alpha equals 0.85. The final sample comprises 926 statements by 74 politicians in talk shows, 648 Facebook posts, 880 tweets, N equals 2,454. Result in discussion. Populist communication 12.5%. People centrist 7.2%. Anti elitist 6.8%. Exclusion 1.4%. Statements with. One dimension 9.7%. Two dimensions 2.6%. All three dimensions 0.1%. This refutes our first hypothesis and suggests that other context factors besides the political system are more crucial for the extent of populism in politicians' communication. The investigated politicians use more references to the people, a stronger anti-elitist discourse, and a higher exclusion of social groups on talk shows than on Facebook and Twitter, which supports H2. While poll parties' communication is not more people-centrist than center or moderate parties' statements, they employ the two conflictive dimensions associated with populism, anti-elitism and exclusion, more often. H3 is therefore only partially supported. Conclusion 
The influence of the political system cannot alone explain differences in the levels of populist communication across countries. Populism in Swiss politicians' communication seems to come closest to a complete populism. While it is contrary to our expectation that directorial and proportional systems constrain populist communication, populist communication in the United Kingdom seems to correspond more closely to anti-elitist populism with high levels of people centrism but low levels of exclusion. Populist communication in Germany seems to match anti-elitist populism although with a lower degree of people centrism. Populism in the United States seems to come closest to an empty populism in contradiction to the previous literature. There may be fewer incentives for populism in two-party systems, because they already have an inherent antagonism between the ruling party and the opposition. The influence of the government and electoral system could not be confirmed. There is evidence that different political settings lead to different levels and forms of populist communication. Politicians of poll parties are more anti-elitist and excluding but not more people-centrist than moderate or center parties are. Other contextual aspects such as the media setting may influence politicians' use of populist communication more directly. Politicians of poll parties are more anti-elitist and excluding but not more people-centrist than moderate or center parties are. People-centric key messages are distributed most evenly across parties. Anti-elitist key messages are applied to a greater extent by poll politicians on both sides. Exclusionist key messages are almost only used by right-wing politicians. Populist communication is context-dependent and demonstrates that political TV talk shows tend to be specifically populist communication arenas.